Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate you how you can export FMUs from Simulink. I just found a very fantastic uh, open source project around this F what's called the FMI Kit Simulink from Katia System. Actually, it has been just released uh, since March this year. So it looks like it's very new, but looking at the version, it's 2.6, which means it has been quite actually a while since it has been made. So I think I, somehow they just decided to make it open source at some in sometime in this year. So, so I've tried it, and uh, at least for one example I just tried, it was fantastically working. It was better than any other tools like uh, FMU Modelon, FMI Kit from Modelon, or the Simulix, which is a Python open source toolkit, and uh, a lot more better than actually there's a tool coupling MATLAB uh, support. So I'm just going to go through how to install it first, and then um, uh, have an example of uh, exporting a model to FMU, and I have a look at the, what it looks like. Okay, um, so this is the open source page for this project uh, hosted by GitHub. So that's the address where you can go to, go to. And there are releases they provide. So you can just click this releases here. And here you see the last latest release, which has this file source code and and different uh, zippo files and this is the file you should download and this is uh, like installation file that installs an app to your MATLAB and this supports uh, up to 2018b version of MATLAB so be aware of that so if I go to my I just download this file and save it into one of the folder on the MATLAB 2008b so this is the the file installation file so if I just double click it this will just install and it's there already and I have to, I think I just have to double click it to get it started so it says something like uh, a copy of the original file has been just created So that's nothing much here. So it won't pop up anything. So you have to just go into your model, which is on my left side here. So that's the vessel model, very simple vessel model, 1D, and just mass and uh, linear damping or linear resistance. So what you have to do here is, of course, you have to parameterize some of the, the tunable parameters like the mass and the resistance coefficient in this case. And actually, there are other parameters like um, if you open it, there is a parameter called the initial condition. Actually, this I found that this is also put as a tunable parameter at the end when you export the model, which I'll show you later. Okay, the first thing you have to do is you have to set up. Okay, the prerequisite actually for this uh, exercise or uh, to, ex to, to export the FMU is to have Simulink Coder in place, which is quite expensive, but that's uh, uh, at least something you must have. So you must have to, you must set solver as a fixed types fixed step solver. So here's your selection, fixed set, and you can select whether it is uh, different solvers. If this is very simple system, you can go for Euler, which is the fastest, and uh, and this I usually go for OD4. Just uh, and yeah, this is reasonably okay. And you have to set up your put your fixed time step size depending on your model uh, uh, dynamics. So um, that's something you have to decide. Okay, then you just go to code generation. So you will see, only see this if you have code generation 
uh, installed in place uh, installed in place of Simlink. And you have to select this system target file. So if you select browse, okay, that's the different target that you can export your model to. Um, so if you have installed your um, this FMI kit from Katia properly, you should have this selection grtfmi.tlc. This is type template that enables to con export the model into C code and convert them to FMU. So you have to select this, okay? And yeah, it doesn't matter. You can go for C or C++. And then, yeah, that's it. So, okay. And then what you have to do is just build, press here or control B, build the model. Then this process will start. So if I just view the diagonics, okay. Okay, I got an error. So this means that there are parameters that is undefined. So because here I have mass and resistance, which is not in the workspace. So either you have to put this in the model workspace or just put it in the like, overall workspace. So I just put give a name or a value, simple value. Then this, then maybe I can press Control D to check if this will compile. Okay, ready, nothing is wrong. So then build. Then building process starts. So if I look at the view diagnostics, you'll see the generating code, checking my compilers. And by the way, you have to have your compiler in place also. So for me, I can check this by just pressing next setup. Okay, this will just wait, I think. So it's working. I have a Visual C++, which is from Visual Studio 2018, I think. Okay, so it's working. It's working fine so far, no errors. So a lot of messages, which I haven't really checked what it's so. At, at the end, we get this build process completed successfully. And on the left side, I have this folder, Vessel GRT FMI RTW. And inside, there are a lot of files produced. And even there is a, a Microsoft Visual Studio project file, Vessel.sln which we don't need to look go into and there is a vessel fmu here successfully and this vessel.c and these are source source code for ves our vessel model so you can have a look if you want okay let's see what happens if i so i have actually microsoft microsoft visual c++ 2015 so this should work with actually any kind of other versions, 17 or, and even with um, the open, like free compilers. Yeah, at least you have to have one compiler in place for C or C++. So that's the my vessel.fmu and there is a, if you can look into the what's inside by going into this FMU arch archives. So looking at this model description file. So I can see that this is a version 2.0, FMI version 2.0, and you will see all the parameters, including R, which is re linear resistance, and the mass, 
and you even see this initial value of the integrator so which was actually the, the initial momentum in in my case and you will see the input and output so i think this is quite working nicely actually but of course you will get since this is 64 um this is a matlab 20 64 bit version it only produces the binary for win 64 so if you want to produce a binary for 32 or linux then you will have to just do it manually and put it here in a separate folder and you'll see all the source files inside but you see that that there's no um, symlink file included so if you want if you are di distributing your model then you might want to re remove all the source code here for, for the sake of inscription of your important knowledge okay i think that's the demonstration that i wanted to show today thank you for watching